Hey, welcome back to Horsecraft <laughs> on the Big Brain Craft server. I've been breeding. Let's see. Go. Done. Woo! <laughs> We're getting so fast. <laughs> Okay, back with some information of my own design, because I'm not the brightest tool in the shed. So yeah, now we're going to go up. I'm flustered, I think. For, oops, forward here. Bang, bang. Observer's right. Oh, yay. Yeah, right here. Here, 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 just like that. I think I can get away with using one less observer now that I'm thinking about it. Because that should power that. This should be proper. So let's just double check that it's working. Yep, it works. Hooray. So we'll go like this. Okay, and then we're getting ready for uh, the next farm, which will start right here. Okay, and this, this farm is pretty much going to be the exact same. Uh, just a just the collection system is going to be different, so we don't need any floor underneath there. Um, so yeah, we'll go here, here. Then we're going to place our pistons in just the same. So let's bring up our scaffolding, bring it sideways here. Okay, this, this, here. Let's add ourselves. Some more wood just so we can use that to build with and we're gonna have to box this all in but that is okay we can do it after in the time lapse when it's designed now we're gonna go up five on this one i i'm sure of it that would be close enough if i'm off i can my design on the outside i can modify a bit like or i guess i don't have to have all the farms on the inside and that is fine by me okay rest of this so had to don't copyright strike me disney Okay, and then the easiest part, which once again, we'll drop these there at the end. Two, three. That actually saves so much observers. I totally forgot. Like you'd think as a redstoner, like those are some of the things I forget. It's just like, end it with a block. It's simple. It's, end all, end all your lines with a block. Last one here. Now, this one goes up a little higher because this one, I think, ends here. And then the next one starts on this row here. I'm about 300% sure on that. If not, it's not a hard, it's not a hard farm. There is actually no redstone with this last farm. So, in my opinion, it would be fine. But yeah, it is a stacked farm with four farms. And I passively, I don't do anything. It just does itself. I could probably actually fit a another farm on here now that I think about it. Which, I wonder if I should do that. I don't, would it work? I'm, I'm not sure if it would. I'm not 100% sure if it would. So I don't know, like it would, it works better as a bigger farm. So that comes to here. I think this works. This goes he, 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 here. Yep. And this and this. I'll need both of those. Boop. And this goes here. And there will be one I'm going to have to put. I'll have to put it on the outside when I'm building. So please. Hopefully I don't forget that. Did I lose my light source? I did. I'm going to have to get some more. So I'm going to put on some light sources. We'll finish that top one in a little bit, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you know what? Okay. I'm going to finish that top one even though... Well, no. Ah. We'll see what happens. Stick around. <laughs> okay, so cactus up top which is passive. We got our kelp in the next row right there. 
and that's why we got those gaps up there. So what's going to happen once I get this up, then I have to fill it with water, then I can go back in. So we're going to have to do it um, kind of in the middle, and then we can fill up everything else after as well. So we're going to have right there is going to be bamboo. Okay, as you can, like that'll be an, a fine spot for bamboo. I might light it up a little more. Well, I am going to light it up a little more before I start the uh, bamboo. Sorry, should have been holding it. I'm going to light it up more just up top there. And then we're going to move down finally to our um, sugar cane farm. So that will be kind of the tier list that we're going to go with. And uh, yeah, then we have a passive farm. Something I haven't done uh, since coming out here is a passive farm. So to me, like this is the fun stuff for me. I really love doing this. And I've gone away from my tutorials a lot. I get that. And I need to go back to them because I just love building redstone. But I think a lot more next season I'm going to get back into doing a lot more of that. And hold me to that, please. If there's something out of redstone you want me to make, tell me. I will make it. <laughs> because I love to. And I love figuring out the little problems of like for server stuff so I don't lag out the server too much. Like even this. Like I'm like, eek, they're not going to like this. But you know what? I think it'll be fine. Um, reason I left this, I'm going to leave this open which I don't normally do in a bamboo farm, but bamboo falls on top of bamboo. So if it has somewhere to go, I'm feeling like hopefully it won't land on top of the other bamboo and it'll get sucked up. So we got that. Are you ready for a time lapse? Because I am. I'm excited. Haven't done one in a... Well, I, I do one every time, but this will be a fun one. I got some real cool designs. Um, so yeah. Have fun in the time lapse. Boom, boom, ba -doo -doo. Phenomena, ta no, time lapse na da na na na, time lapse bam 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 bam. Hey, welcome back to another time lapse. This is gonna be part one of two. How are you guys doing though? I think that's the most important thing. How are you doing? I think a lot of the time we get so rushy and everything that we forget to ask each other how are we doing. And I've said it once and I've said it a million times. One person's problems are not bigger than the other person's or smaller than the other person's. Everyone's problems are of equal value. <laughs> we don't need to belittle anyone. We have more capable we have more capability of love than that. Like people need more love and we just need to kinda of get out of our own little thing and just do it. But anyways I hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys enjoyed your summer. Spooky time is coming and I know a lot of people like that so get your spook on Hey, we are back, and I just was grabbing some lights, and uh, Scotty invited me here. Whoa! So this is probably one of the coolest places in the server, and holy, that is a lot. So what this is, is a double zombie farm drown converter that uh, Scotty made. So yeah, these guys spawn, and they come through and get converted into... Drowns. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, that's smarter than the design I was trying to make. I think that is smarter. Actually, way smarter than the one I was doing. Giving that extra time with their heads. So yeah, they'll they'll spawn. Gotten off and on. They'll come. They'll get converted into drowns. Ah, oh, look at that. Yeah. Now this one doesn't use the mechanic of the reinforcements command, uh, where if they start getting harmed, they'll start asking for uh, more zombies to come. So this will just convert them to drowned. And with the 1.16 or 1, 117 mechanic, mechanics, they're going to start dropping copper. So it becomes a big copper farm. Just a trident killer that I don't know how to use. Oh yeah, that's a trident killer. So that would be filtering. And so that's filtering everything. Then I think there's a trade hall in there as well for all the zombie flesh. So, which is super smart. You might as well have a trading hall when you're gathering stuff that you don't need, right? Like if you have a zombie XP farm, so that's sweet. And so you'll get all of it and it'll get dumped in there. I don't know if 
Scott is putting the armor into furnaces. I'm not 100% sure on that, but this is so awesome. Like, this is this is the dream. Living the dream. I was going to do a copper farm, but when Scotty said he was going to do this, yeah, this is, this is enough for everyone. Yeah, that's awesome. This is sweet. And you don't even need the XP. The, the Trident farm just helps with that. Because as soon as you go down and trade all your zombie meat, then you're fine. Just massive. Okay, so that is done. I can turn it off. All the Zombergs are dead. Yeah, Cleric's trading hall. And then copper, copper, yeah, like. Oh, not, oh. I've never seen that many Nautilus shells. Oh, what's this? Hmm, that's random. But this is so cool. Oh, yeah, he is. I think he is. This is, this would be where the armor would come. Nuggies? Yeah, nuggies. That's why there's nuggies in here. Holy. So he's got a gold farm in this as well. Golden iron farm. See, that's the that's the versatility if you really get down to your base like to your basics of like what comes out of where. He just turned a zombie farm into a copper, iron, and gold farm. Like you're getting all your metals right there. Looking at this, this is practical. And now this is just for efficiency of why everything is emptied here. But, you know, if you didn't want to do all this, you didn't have to. And you'd still get all this stuff that, that Scotty's getting here. So, really smart. This is an idea. So, I would love to see people do more of this. And you can. Oh, kitty. Anyways. Oh, this is so awesome, Scotty. Awesome job. Again, it looks so good with the tinted glass, too. So, you can see what's going on. Whew. Primo. Okay, let's get back to building. Why is it always raining here? Go. Cancel my five o'clock, please. Oh, perfect. Oh. This is what I have to deal with. Watch this. This guy's actually kind of cooperating. Oh, there we go. Knew it was coming. No, no, no. Oi. Stubborn. Yeah, they, like, see, mm, again, yeah, come on, this way, no, I'll have to put you in a boat, hey, welcome back, we're learning about totems in this one, uh, spiritual connection for the First Nations people, and, uh, something special that was used, um, they used it for, like, the animals for guidance, so they looked at the animals, and they decided what it was trying to tell them, and we're going to start off here with the buffalo right on the bottom because the buffalo is the most sacred. The buffalo gave First Nations people on the prairies a lot of things, right? They built their houses with them. They made clothes with them. They kept them warm. They fed them. They did all that stuff. So buffaloes are very sacred to the people of the living. 
The next totem I built was the Wren, right? A bird, a messenger to the gods, sibling relationships, the power of voice, fearlessness, and it sees future events. And what I, the next one I make is the Wolf. Okay, that shows intensity, loyalty, balance, independence, teaches cooperation, right? Protectiveness and the value of extended families. As you for here is a very powerful symbol for women, the turtle. It symbolizes fertility, long life, and perseverance. And sometimes it's able to defy death. And finally, my mom's favorite, the eagle. And so the eagle represents freedom and courage. And as you can tell, each of these animals say that as you watch them. So it's just an interpretation of that. And it's very spiritual for the First Nations people to understand and read nature that um, stuff the creator has given them. So I thought that was really cool. And it's something to really kind of look at in yourself. What represents you? Look at that. That's sweet. So as as you heard the representation of each and this farm uh, was producing while we were going. So no sugar cane yet, I don't think. But here's kind of what we collected, which is pretty good in, in my opinion, right? And we'll fire that all out. Uh, should I fill that up? No, I'm not going to. We're going to end up sending this all out um, to a box probably somewhere else. But all in all, I am happy with this. And yes, I don't have the other sides done, but we have everything. And I'm so happy. I couldn't be happier with this thing. So hope you guys like it. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the process. And I hope I challenge you to try and not make efficient farms, but also some pretty cool looking farms. Like, that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, you know what? Let's keep going with this episode. Hey, hope you liked that video there. And you know what? If you like that, just give me a like. Just show me some love. I need a little bit right now. Uh, school's coming up, so uh, I should be on here anyways. And we're just going to keep grinding away at these little tasks before Season 2 gets started. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. Bring the hype. Well, you know what? See you next time, and goodbye! Hey, not trying to force your hand or anything, but you stay till the end of the video. You know, tell a friend, give me a like, give me a comment, do something. See you later.